last episode, we settled into Cayo Costa State Park off of Fort Myers, Florida. We enjoyed a beautiful sunset for our first windy night on the island, but then on Sunday everything cleared out and we really got to enjoy the peace and quiet of camping on an island where the only access is from a ferry. Our second day on the island, the weather was much better, so this was when we set out to explore the hiking trails that go up to some of the remote beaches. So don't let the weight of the world slow you down And if you search for the meaning of life, it won't be found So take your insecurities and leave them all behind Let's learn to make the most of our time For our first full day on the island, we were taking advantage of the warmer weather and the sunshine to walk around and explore some of the trails that go around the park. Today we were going up to the north end of the park where you can pretty much have the whole beach to yourself to watch the pelicans and the dolphins. There are a few unique things about the beaches of Cayo Costa, one being that most of the time you're the only person on the beach, but a lot of areas have these standing dried out pieces of wood or large pieces of driftwood that have washed up on the shore. It's also a great area to look for shells. Since there's not so many people walking around these beaches there's just a ton of really well intact shells all over the place you can find whelk shells and sand dollars things that i've never seen anywhere else on the beach you can find pretty regularly here Something we saw a few different places around the island were these branches that were decorated with shells. It's sort of like a Florida Christmas tree. As we came around the north side of the island, we could see across to the next barrier island and how developed that area was. It was packed with houses and condos. And it made us think that it's really nice that we have these areas of preserved land that we can be in the state park and see what this barrier island looks like without having humans rearranging things and building things. We also got to sit there and watch these pelicans. There was a school of fish and the pelicans were just going crazy and then there were dolphins in there too and everything was just moving around. We weren't really sure if the dolphins and the pelicans were friends or if they were trying to scare each other off, but it was definitely an interesting interaction there between all of the wildlife.
We started to walk back around to the ferry terminal. We wanted to try to get to the little store while it was still open. Right now we're just taking a walk around the island and uh, we're actually pretty lucky because yesterday was pretty chilly and windy, especially at night, it got cold. Um, and today is not quite as windy, still a little breezy and um, much warmer, but the water is still kind of cold, so probably no swimming. But overall, pretty nice to uh, walk around and explore the island, so that's what we're doing. We hopped on the tram to head across the island back toward the campsites and I always enjoyed this ride underneath the trees. It was always really pretty, but it was especially nice because we were carrying firewood and we didn't want to have to walk back with that. Sometimes I think you can hear the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it the water? Mm -hmm. It's not the water. It was pretty interesting when we got here yesterday because it was Saturday, so it was super crowded. And then it was really pretty cold, like, what, 40s? Yeah. I think it went down to, like, 43, 44. And it was super windy. like. You had to weigh things down so that they wouldn't blow off the table and trying to put up the tent with that was really a challenge but uh, today it's really cleared out because it's Sunday so most people are heading home um, but we were pretty impressed by like the uh, facilities here they do have showers I don't think they're hot but no. um, they have showers and like flushing toilets and uh, there's a store we had ice cream today so a shuttle to get you back and forth from the dock. We got tired of walking so uh, we took the shuttle back after we walked around the island and it was pretty doable like what we were out like two hours yeah. two and a half hours and we walked all the way down to the end and back before lunch so and taking our time good. going off different trails mm -hmm. off to the beach. Checking out some of the more secluded beach areas so pretty pretty neat. It would be interesting to be here more in the middle of the week when it's not quite as busy but uh, we're just lucky that the weather is cooperating today a little bit of a hidden gem really nice place yes I don't think most people know mm -hmm. that you can camp here and the experience of you getting here on the uh, on the uh, small ferry <laughs> shuttle whatever you call it the is, ferry uh, was neat yeah. yeah I think in terms of the spot though like we picked number one to be closer to the bathrooms and we were getting a lot of like foot traffic back and forth last night and this morning when people were leaving it was really busy here uh, but when you go farther back that way it's uh, more secluded for sure you're not going to get as many people walking by but it's a decent walk to the bathroom so we were kind of like weighing our options with that but it's not bad especially now that most people are gone it's nice
The south part of the park had even more shells and most of them were pretty well intact. I've never been somewhere that had so many perfect shells all over the beach. That doesn't happen in New Jersey. The next president to be The news and watch hear your career It's time for you to face those fears And it's all fair To be aware and I'll be there So don't be scared Just take a deep breath of air 